Alrighty guys, welcome here to the beautiful Hope Island Lynx. Um, today we're going to be hitting out the back nine and we're going to be playing some, some holes out there. And one thing that I'm going to show you guys that I've been putting to the test is called the Right Sided Swing by Gary Edwin. Um, I found it to have some great results for me and so I'm going to share that with you guys. So basically as we're going out there, um, I'm going to be talking about the swing and what it does and how it feels and all that sort of thing. I found some great improvements in my ball striking. Um, and I've also found some great improvements in my consistency with distance and accuracy uh, to the pin. So hopefully that shows here today as well. But basically what the right sided swing is, is it's sort of posting up this left side as though there's a wall there and your body and your, your right side is swinging around your spine angle. So it's gonna be going around like that and then through. Now obviously this is new to me so I'm not perfect at it. I'm still going to have some things in there that if you've coached it or seen it before you're going to be like no that's not really it. It's still grinding into my swing so but basically you get your weight on your your left side here um, and then you're going to be rotating around your spine angle keeping your head still so it's, the idea is to go this way and then swing through. So. It's been really helping me. We're going to get out of the course. Uh, we're going to give it a crack. The only clubs that I haven't implemented it with is uh, so far as a two iron up to driver. So two iron, three wood driver. Uh, I've just been concentrating on the irons. So uh, basically keeping it simple. Uh, if I go to this angle, you'll see it. Keeping it simple here, back straight, leaning on that side, swinging around, and then letting your right side come through. Uh, we're going to be doing that today and hopefully you can see some of the uh, benefits that I've been finding with the right sided swing and Gary Edwards method. Cheers guys. Alrighty, so off the blues to highlight hopefully more of this iron play. Shots heavy. That's what I was trying to do. Alright guys, so considering considering that swing, it actually landed in a not too bad of a spot. It's in the rough and it's not easy to hit out of here, but it could have been in the bunker. One thirty three to the pin. Out of that line in this morning cold second swing of the day, I'm just going to go on eight iron. See if we can get it up there. Eight iron actually might be a touch short, but also seven might be too long. Only because the ball doesn't travel that far when it's this cold. Now I've got shorts and a t shirt on, but it is cold. And this is second swing of the day. It's heavy to go. So I just pushed that one a touch right, probably rushed it for some reason, don't know why, nobody else is here. But anyway, we uh, good contact, went the right distance, just touch right. Okay, so this is where my game hasn't been that great, wedge game. That was not too bad. Seb's just knocked it into two centimetres. Up 
Okay, bogey start, which is not good. But around here, you don't want to leave yourself four to five foot parts because the greens are very grainy and it will move even when it's wet like this. So, chipping needs to be better than that. Make it to the hill. Mm -hmm. Down there, it's not looking pretty though. Okay, 98 meters to that pin, given the uh, conditions. I'm going to go pitching wedge. See if I can get some of these balls in the air. I'm not actually swinging all that well at the moment, to be honest. I feel like I'm doing it a bit of an injustice because it is a lot better than what I'm making it look. So that was better. I think what I've been doing is I've actually been leaning back and I haven't been keeping that weight going forward. So let's try that as we move on. All right, so par, we're well, still one over, but we need to uh, need to go and get a couple of birdies to get back under par. So, a um, couple of things so far, which is easily identifiable for me using RSS, is that when I'm thinning the ball, I'm getting my head too far behind the ball. I'm actually coming up, presenting the leading edge rather than going forward and trapping it and actually getting that dynamic loft that I should be getting. So. One of the things that I like about it is that when things are going wrong, it's much easier to identify what you're doing wrong um, because there's a process and a structure and there's theory behind it. So um, from here on in, it should be much better. One twenty three to the back. Yeah, an easy nine. That's not a nine. That's a fifty eight. That's what I'm more used to seeing. Better. Much better, Sebi. Right, so I managed to actually stay on this hill, don't know how. But, let's have a putt. Alrighty, so starting to strike the irons a little better, which is good. Um, I think it's important to remember that when you come out and play these kind of nine hole rounds that you are doing some practice as well. So if things aren't working well, don't just try and rush through the round, actually stop, get it right, think about it, 
and uh, and really work on it. So one of the things that was happening at the start was I wasn't getting my body in the right positions. I wasn't staying neutral enough with my head. I was kind of getting behind the ball uh, and trying to help it up. And I was also probably dipping my shoulder a bit. So fixed that, had some better contact with that shot in and hopefully that continues for the rest of the round. So let's go. Got another long par four now. Alright, so that was a massive drive actually, coming into this, we've only got... ...105 is staying to the front, 120 to the middle, let's call it 110 for the flag. So, I'll play this one, then I'll get a couple of side-on shots as well with the RSS so you can see, but... In a nutshell, what we're trying to do, what I'm trying to do is you... Like I said earlier, you've got a wall here and then this side kind of forms a K, like a reverse K. And then your, your body, you're supposed to rotate as well, which is harder for me to do, but your body just goes around your spine and then follows through on the swing. So, get it. Great shot, probably five, six feet from the pin. Chipping. Master with the wedge, aren't you? Not like me. Anyway, so, pin was a little further back than I thought. Probably handy to have used the range finder there, but anyway, still good. Okay, so we're going to play off. Oh, look at that. Okay, so we're going to play off the whites on this one just because the blues are 200 on a short par three, and I don't have a club that goes 200 that I use RSS with. So for the purpose of the video, I'm going to do it front on so you actually get to see the setup and the swing. Like I said, it's not going to be perfect. I'm still getting used to it, but it is helping. So, building the wall and then swinging around the ball, trapping it, hopefully getting on the green. So 160 to the green. Here we go. That's a beautiful strike. We're on the green, so we're putting. Okay, so that's what's ahead of us with the putt. I'll get in. The putt's heavy. Take it away. Okay, so one of the things that I mentioned a little bit earlier using the RSS swing, that was a good shot in there, Seb, good putt, uh, was the distance control and the consistency that I'm able to get with it. So I hit that strike really well, um, but I found that when I do miss, I don't miss it by anywhere near as much, or if I do, get that sun out of my face. You go, Seb, you're gonna go over some bumps in a second. Uh, or if I do miss it, the distance punishment isn't that bad. So. I was a little bit past the pin that time. If I had missed it a little bit, I probably just would have been a little bit short, but either way, I still got a putt. And for me, 
Um, in my swing patterns, that's really important because you'd rather be on the green than not. So, uh, stroke index one coming up now. to the back which I'm still going to go a six iron just take it a bit easier because flag is at the back and six iron last time you saw from the front this time we can see it from the back and just go straight up the pin you don't want to go right so you want to touch left of the pin would be good Don't want to go right, struck it well, and I went right. Okay, so rule number one for anybody in golf, don't talk about where you don't where you don't want to miss it. Just talk about where you want to hit it. Um, how many times do you say, look, just can't go right or just can't go left? And, and sure enough you hit it there. Actually, I'm even though I'm right, I'm actually alright, I'm just on the top of the top of the green there. So not on the green, but I'm on the top, so that's a bonus, but not terrible. Um, I thought it actually might have rolled down the hill, but it didn't, so happy days there. Alright, so do I chip this or do I putt it? What would you do? Would you chip it or would you putt it? Leave me a comment in the comment section. First thing I'm going to do is protect the brain. grabby boppy chip so I'm gonna putt it which is not generally my go-to off the green. Here you go Seb. Alright guys, so I'm actually been sort of looking forward to this shot. So it's 87, 87 metres to the middle. It says this, but the pin... Let's see it 79, so... 79 to that pin. We go 54. I've been looking forward to this because I wanted to show you RSS with a wedge well because it's the same which is the beauty about it the swing is the same all the way through to the pin. Let's, uh, I'll fix that divot in a second. All divots get fixed after this, by the way, unless you want to watch me fix a whole bunch of divots on camera, but no, I can't zoom up that far to see. Anyway, Alrighty. that was a good shot. All right, so good shot in here. Only downside is that we're that five sort of foot mark, four foot, four and a half foot mark, which is Okay, so I was glad that I was able to show you a wedge shot because that's what's sort of been happening with most of my wedges using RSS that I've been able to get them close to within that four or five foot range. I just haven't always nailed the putts. Um, luckily then I did. So we're scoring well now and we're striking it well. Heading over to the 17th, which is a bit of a hallmark hole here at Hope Island Links right across the water. And we'll definitely be playing that one off the blues. Um, 
and uh, said, what's a nearly got hit by a car? <laughs> How did you not say, I heard that and I got noise cancelling headphones in. Anyway, um, so here we go, we're up over the 17th, we've got to walk over the bridge and uh, let's have a crack. All right, so when I have an opportunity to play this hole, there is no way I'm not playing it from the blues when I can, but for the purpose of the video, like I said, I haven't implemented the right sided swing with a two iron up to three wood, and I've got a two iron now. It's about 210 meters to the back, probably 205 to the pin. And I'm gonna try it, and we'll just see. Yeah. There's no reason why it doesn't work. In fact, it does, because everyone who uses it uses it right through the back. I just haven't gotten there yet. But we'll give it a go. So same routine, same everything. Keep your head up just a little thicker. away for the pin but we're on the green. So I'll take that. I might even actually just hit a second one. Hang on Seb. Just because it is new. See if I can uh, correct it a little. Trying to got that one a bit thin, didn't really trap it. Try and trap this one a bit more. So both of those on the green, um, you know, pretty happy with them. Like I said, it's not something that I've actually practiced is using the RSS with two iron. But as you can see, I didn't, sorry, I'm, no, I'm not in shot. I didn't nail either of those and they still went on the green. Yeah. All right. So that's the situation with the putter. First ball is over there, sorry, here. And the second ball is up there on the fringe. And we have a little ways to go on the putter, but we're on the green. So, you know. One of the things about RSS that I love, which I've said before, is even though I haven't used it with that club all that much, and I, I didn't hit it um, cleanly, is I wasn't punished and I'm still on the green, and that, you know, that's got to go for something. Albeit we're a long way away from the green. Alright, last hole of the day, let's send this one as far down as possible. Alright, so we have literally a country mile to the green. Wonder if this three wood's gonna get it up and out of the rough or not. If it's not, then we might go down to seven or eight. I'm just gonna go to the right and wherever I can roll to, I can roll to. Quite surprising. Rad speed. Not bad. Alright, so we got a lot more purchase on this than expected. And I'm gonna have to jam down on this. Sixty-one. I jam down on this because there's not much grass underneath and I'm still gonna use the RSS method with it, so downhill it's gonna pop out a little lower. Probably go a little further and hopefully I can get some spin on it, but I'm not sure because it's still wet. So we'll see what we can do. Shot. 
take that from there with not much grass, so pretty good. Alrighty, so this for birdie and to go one under, which would be lovely. It's about the right distance out too, and the green looks good. Well guys, so that's it for the nine holes today. Um, hope you got a little bit out of RSS. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments box below. Um, and I'll answer to my knowledge at least what I've sort of been able to find out. Uh, check out Gary Edwin and his coaching. So I think it's garyedwin.com um, or maybe .com.au, no, .com I think. Um, but check it out, check it out for yourself, give it a go and uh, see if it's improved your game like it, it has improved mine. Cool, see you guys.